At first glance, an adorable caterpillar cake by Aldi should make people smile. Unfortunately, Marks and Spencer are not having a warm reaction to the sweet treat. As reported by the BBC, in a recent trademark claim filed in the UK, Marks and Spencer asserts that Aldi's Cuthbert the Caterpillar cake infringes its Call on the Caterpillar trademark. This infringement complaint looks to prohibit Aldi from continuing to sell a cake that, quote, rides on the coattails of the brand's well-known Caterpillar character. A Marks and Spencer spokesperson said, We want to protect Colin, Connie, and our reputation for freshness, quality, innovation, and value. According to Eater, other brands have sold Caterpillar-themed cakes, but Aldi is the only brand that has been sued. In addition, the Daily Mail reports that the Cuthbert the Caterpillar dessert was spotted in 2019. It provided a quote from a previous Marks & Spencer tweet saying, Hmm, my spidey senses are tingling. We definitely spot an imposter. It is unclear why the lawsuit is being filed now, nor is it clear why only Aldi is being sued for its Caterpillar cake. Trademark infringement can be a concern for a food company. As discussed in a Food Dive article, when a company feels that another brand might cause irreparable damage, the lawyers are ready to take to the courthouse steps. From petty disputes to larger concerns, several well-known brands have sought reparations for trademark infringement. While the legal application might need an attorney's explanation, there is an element of common sense that is applied. As shared by Lawyer Monthly, three well-known cases included disputes over kick Cat bars and its shape, a particular taste of a cheese spread, and even the name of a sports-related pie. Each lawsuit sought to eliminate consumer confusion about particular products. Although some people might think that imitation is a form of flattery, that concept does not apply in trademark law. Although people can debate the phrase, what's in a name, for companies, it's branding matters. For example, a person might not drive to McDonald's and try to order a Burger King Whopper because these fast food restaurants are different, and the name conveys that idea. But what if the names were more similar? If anyone remembers the classic film Coming to America, the debate of the McDonald's versus McDowell's might come to mind. See, they're McDonald's. I'm McDowell's. They got the golden arches. Mine is the Golden Arcs. Although this example is from a movie, it can happen in real life. A confused customer is not good for any business. Fortune discussed trademark litigation and the potential for customer confusion. While certain words like grocery store may be a general phrase, other terms can be associated with specific brands. Tally Wong of IW Group Marketing Agency explained to the outlet that companies need a recognizable name that can be associated with their brand only. How many times have you glanced at a name or a logo, misread it, or thought that you saw something else? It is this customer confusion that companies want to avoid. When Marks & Spencer launched this new food fight against Aldi, the company wanted to avoid the caterpillar confusion. As stated by The Guardian, with their hard chocolate shells decorated with sweeties and white chocolate grinning faces, it is difficult to tell Colin and Cuthbert apart. Until you have had a bite, anyway. From the name to the packaging, the similarities between the two products might not pass the look test. Granted, Aldi has a lower price, but does that value come at a bigger cost because the taste is inferior? Some consumers are feeling that this battle between brands might be more suited for the playground. Although Aldi had previously declined to comment publicly, the brand took to its Twitter account to say, This is not just any court case. This is hashtag free Cuthbert. Whether or not consumers can spot the difference, care to spot the difference, or or just don't care at all remains to be seen. It appears that with this caterpillar cake dispute, no one is going to be transforming into a beautiful butterfly. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.